hello amazing people welcome back to my channel guys how are you all doing today i hope you're all doing great and i hope you're generally fine on today's video i'll be showing you how to make the lowest part of this corset dress so this is going to be um, a fitted high low skirt okay i'll show you how to achieve this and as for the other part of this um, outfit i already have it all linked up in the description box how to create a corset pattern super easy in a very easy method and also how to make um, a corset crop top you're going to have it as a corset set crop top and also how to make this um stylish puff sleeve yes i have it all linked up in the description box if you've not seen it kindly go ahead and watch it yes guys so here i have um my um fabric i'm going to be using to demonstrate this for you today and um this cut is divided into two parts the the upper part of course is going to be the regular plain um skirt straight skirt cut while the lowest part is going to be um the flare part so at the end of the day i'm going to be attaching it what to my upper piece of this corset um top as you can see just, just like i said earlier on this is already linked up in the description box so this can rock this as a corset top the way it is yes all you need to do is just to hem the lowest part and you're good to go and join the side but as for me i'm attaching it what to the upper piece as you can see here yes guys so getting started i already have um my fabric all laid down together i'm cutting about the front and the back piece together as you can see but before that let me make a quick um demonstration of what um this skirt actually looks like the full outfit actually so that you can understand them um, the calculations better so the full length of this dress um, is actually 56 inches, as you can see, all drawn out on this paper. Why from the top length um, to the nail length, that's where the flare cut is going to start from, is going to be what? 36 inches, which makes the lowest part of it, which is the flare part, to be 20 inches. So remember, it's going to be a high low. So for the back, it's going to be the full length of 20 inches. That's for the flare. Why the front part of the flare is going to be what? 10 inches. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's exactly what we have here then um for the main body of the skirt um it's going to be 19 inches half length is 17 if you take it away from that 36 then you are left it what 19 inches okay i hope you understand that so here i have it already i'm taking note of my 19 inches of course i added extra hemming allowance for the top and on the lowest part as well okay yeah so i went ahead to cut out the excesses then the, the first note is take it from that top point which represents my waistline and indicated my hip line okay that's all we need here so my waistline we put in the waist measurement um which is um 36 by divided by four i have nine so i went ahead to add um extra um 2.5 inches of allowance then for the hip was 44 divided by 4 that is 11 and I of course added extra um 2.5 inches of allowance then the lowest part of course i still put in the same hip measurement there but i only went in by about one inches okay just to give this a little bit of you know pencil the um, um shape effect okay yeah so that's it so of course i'll go ahead and cut this out and you can see um this is super easy it's as easy as it is and how to um cut out this top part of our skirt then of course i'm just slitting open them um, the back piece that's the zipper um, allowance part okay yes then of course i'll go ahead and um um, notch um, the center and um, the hip line just indicates that point then the next thing i'll do now is to indicate the that line so the that line i use with nipple to nipple distance of eight inches i divided it by two that is four you can see me locating that point i'm going ahead to notch it so all you need to do is to sew down there by um four to five inches downwards for your dart okay yes so coming now to create our flare cut, our high-low effect. So here I'm taking note of this front piece. We're going to work on the front piece first. So for my front piece, I wanted to give it a little bit of high-low effect as well. So I went up from that unfold part of my skirt. I went up by two inches. As you can see me marking that point now. So I'm going to what? Drag that point all the way to the edge, okay? So it can be a form of a curve or um, a slant for whichever way. Just to give my front skirt that high low effect okay so opening it up you can see the way it is yeah so that's uh, that's just it of course this is optional okay that is just to give it some you know that um shape um look it's very very nice so after that now i'll go ahead and measure what i have for my front piece there and i'm um, taking note of it i have about 12.5 okay so 12.5 remember is on fold by the time i open it up that means 25 right so this 25 is going to be the circumference of my flare cut okay yeah so i'll go ahead now and um 
cut out for the flare cut. And we are going to be cutting this just like the way we cut our um, peplum. So you can see I have my fabric folded into four. So what I did now is to take my 25 inches in length that I've just got now. I'm going to be dividing it by what? 6.28, okay? That's what we do when we're cutting out um, a full circle flare. So dividing it by 6.28, I have approximately um, about 4 inches there. So I worked with 4 inches actually. And so what I did was now to take note of that point. So you can see me placing my tape and marking out my curve, just taking my 4 inches mark all the way to get my circumference okay so i went ahead well, to create my curve then of course it's important to always cross check what you have when i did i have about 6.5 so 6.5 if you multiply it by 4 that's around 26 so that's already giving us what we want and even more right yeah so that's it so the next thing is to indicate the length of the um flare so remember this is the front piece so the length of the flare for this one is 10 inches Why for the back is 20 but here is the thing i'm still going to cut out that 20 inches in length because it's when we are done cutting we cannot create the high low effect so what i did was to indicate the length there okay you can see what i'm doing now i'll just drag my tape to the tip just to get a perfect circumference but for me here uh, my fabric wasn't really enough to give me that exactly 20 inches of length i had about 19 inches but i had i, I went ahead to work with that okay it was still okay for me so i went ahead now to indicate my um length cut here okay still taking note of that we are taking note of um the 20 inches in length so you can see me creating my curve so went ahead what now to call this um um out okay yeah so when you were done cutting this out we would automatically have um a full um circle flare cut okay yes yeah, so you can see this if i open it up you can see how this is looking already so i'll close it back so i'm going to be what slitting one side open okay yeah so this side i'm going to be slitting open is going to represent the sides Take note of that. It represents the sides. Why the unfold part is going to be what? For the center. Okay? Yeah. So now, this center point is where I'm going to start indicating what my, um, the high-low effect. So remember, we said 10 inches for the length. So you can see me indicating what my 10 inches length there. Okay? Yeah. So this is what is going to fit into. This is where it's going to fit into, okay, on that part. So I'm indicating the 10 inches length. Mind you, this 10 inches is inclusive of um, um, the hemming allowances, right? So indicating that point now. So what I did was just to take note of what I have left over, which I'm supposed to cut off. So I had about 5 inches left over, right? Or 4 inches. So I went ahead what to... Um, mark out the remaining points i'm just using it as a yardstick to get that high low effect you can see me just taking this so i'm just going to drag this my 10 inches in length all the way but of course when i'm getting towards the sides there i will blend it to the exact length of that 20 inches i hope you understand so you can see me making my curve now I'm just taking it from that front part. By the time I'm getting towards the um, back part there, I just blended it to the exact length. So this automatically giving him that what my high low effect. Okay. Yes, guys. So it's as easy as that. Guys, at this point, if you've not liked my video, please, what are you waiting for? Please hit that like button. I beg you. Just like, share. And if you've not subscribed, please don't forget to do that. I will really, really appreciate this. Okay. This goes a long way to help me. Thank you so much. So opening this up, you can see how this is looking already. We have just created the high low effect. I'm going to set this aside. Then we'll go ahead to cut out what for the back piece. So there's practically nothing um, different here. We're just doing the same exact thing. We're cutting out the exact same shape just like we did. The only difference is that we apply the high low effect for the front piece. Okay. So for this back piece, we're just practically doing the exact same thing cutting out my circumference and also what taking note of the exact length of what 20 um, inches of course having in mind that um this back piece is going to be what splitted into two so it's important to also what take note of that um the circumference part because whatever you have there 
um, is going to what represent the excesses you have will also um, represent what the zipper allowances. So in this case, I'm slitting the two. You can see me slitting the two open here. So one part is going to fit into one um, part of the back piece and the other flare cut part is going to fit into the other. And that is it, guys. So all we need to do here now is just to join our entire piece together. You can see this and also do the same thing what for the front piece. So you can just go ahead and start joining your side. But if you're going to be using a lining just like I did, you go ahead and cut out the lining for the same, just the exact same shape and you turn it over. And that's it, guys. By the time you're done, joining this join the sides fix your zipper your skirt is good to go your high low skirt is good to go but for me of course i'm attaching it to the upper part of the corset top and after that my dress is ready so that is it guys on how to make this beautiful high low fitted skirt thank you so much guys for joining me today as we've come to the end of this tutorial if you find this helpful please do not forget to like, share, and also if you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload my weekly videos on this channel. See you on the next video. Have a wonderful day.